hi welcome back to my channel my name is laura and you all know that i love journaling so of course i had to make a journal for my um embroidery slow stitch journal so um yes in january um i found um hashtag 52 handmade tags and since then i've been going and doing lots of lots of stuff so i'm going to share with you my progress and what i wrote in this little notebook i'm actually going to cover this i'm actually working on a cover for this um and i will share that as well but um this is a uh standard size uh travels notebook i got from amazon just plain plank with lines so um I decided to write down my journey in here because I've been finding lots of stuff, lots of YouTubers, lots of new stitches that I'm learning, and I wanted to calculate my journey in here. So, okay, so the first thing I did was made a table of contents. Uh, this is just like the bullet journal. Um, I did page one through three, my journey and how it starts. Uh, and then uh, also my tags. Uh, it started all started out making tags on paper and stitching. And then I started learning other things. So after that, I wrote down on page three and four, I did my journey of who, uh, what YouTubers I've been learning from so I could keep track and uh, follow along and do their tutorials and learn more. So on day on page five, I did a monthly nine 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 by nine blocks. Um, that's where I started out stitching on blocks, and um, it just I decided to do a month by month block. So I will share that as well as my coming along progress as what it looks like now. I also started a six by six blocks, uh, and that all started with circles. Uh, and I wrote, um, I'm keeping track on page six and on page seven, I started making book covers. So that's what I have in here so far. I also have ordered some, um, more fabric because I need to have other colors besides the colors I already had. Uh, so that's coming in the mail soon. And I will probably put a list of, um, Etsy shops that I've been shopping at and, um, yes, yeah, so that will go in this book as well, but let's see what I wrote in here so far. So on January, 2021, uh, Felicia Smith, she's a, um, a Fobonichi journalist group. She's in charge of it. She told us about a 52 tags handmade. And ever since then, um, I have been obsessed and learning, 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 and haven't stopped stitching since then. Uh, the 50 tags handmade, uh, is on Ann Brooks textile artist. Uh, and every Friday she puts up a video and you learn something new. So, uh, so far we've made seven tags and I'm keeping track here. Uh, these are the different tags and her videos. Uh, and then this is the day I completed the tags. So uh, jotting it down. So I did a list from one to 52 because I plan to continue on. I really love doing it every Friday. I'm looking forward to learning something new. So uh, yes, yeah. so here's my tags. I'm gonna pull it right now. I have it on a ring. Um, here is my tags. I have it on a ring, so I'm going to share uh, really, really quickly a flip through of this. Uh, it is seven tags on here so far. It is kind of fat and chunky already, but I am going to do something else with them because I think that I... Um, you can't really see them and I like to see what I did. So either I'm going to display them on something or I'm going to make a book because each one I have made the tag front and then I journaled on the back. So yeah, so let's go to tag one. Okay, so here is tag one here. It says, I use my rubber stamps because I wasn't following the directions very well for tag one, but I, I did take out some scraps uh, that I haven't used in ages. So I was able to use these this this thing here. Uh, some um, This is all sewn on to the tag. So I did pull out stuff from my stash that I haven't used in ages. 
and I wrote one big dream and then I journaled on the back so yeah so that's it uh, and then I also dated the tag so that's tag one tag two was heart and here's my tag two I have a heart on here with Harry Potter and then I journaled about Harry Potter on the back of it so there's my journaling and then tag three was scrappy tag which is this one celebrate today and i just journaled about how this worked out this is all hand sewn uh so and i use my favorite colors and i just pulled stuff from my scraps and that's that there so i journaled on the back uh tab four was the fly stitch so here is tag four the fly stitch now this is where i started going out and i started doing other things so after i learned the fly stitch i started doing lots of more tags lots of more projects and practicing so that inspired me to start my very first block which was my nine by nine block i'm going to bring it over here this is my nine my nine by nine block and here is the fly stitch right here i was practicing and practicing and here is what my block turned out to be this is just practicing and this is my january block for um january so um yeah i use my favorite colors i use the fly stitch that we did i actually added a tra uh, traveler's notebook this is actually a real leather traveler's notebook in the center uh, and then I put my word in beads on the top and then I added some beads all around. So, yeah, so that and this tag inspired me to make this. So can you believe? Anyway, so after that, um, let's go to the next tab. Uh, the next tag was um, kisses. So here's my kisses tag. And I have my X's here on the side. And I use my little um, um, Valentine's Day type fabric that I had in my stash. And I learned not only X's, which is the cross stitch, I also learned how to make um, French knots. So you could see the progress in there. And then after that, we next one was buttons. So here is my buttons. Did I go the wrong way? Hold on. I think I went the wrong way. The next one is buttons, which is this one. Okay, so buttons. And this is when I started to do running stitch. And I used gold fabric and I found some really old buttons that I had in my stash. Uh, yeah, I used to have cats. Now I have a dog. I don't have any cats, but uh, I figured might as well use those tags up. And I actually journaled on the back of this about having cats. So yeah, I had two cats, so, and I dated it and everything else. So that was tag six. And then after that, this is tag seven. This is the last one that we learned, which is the hexagons. And I used my, the stitch again that we learned and I used uh, buttons again. And then on the back of this, I just journaled about my birthday. So yeah, so my birthday was that day. This is February 12th, but my birthday is February 13th. So uh, yeah, so let's see after that. Uh, so that is my tag. So I, I've made seven tags so far. I've caught up and I made them uh, every Friday. And then I did other things besides that. So um, I listed it all the way to here and then over here I wrote my journey continues then I found slow stitching uh, on 125 and that's when I made this purple thing was slow stitching uh, and then I started watching Lizzie Brewer um, she has live shows I think it's on Monday night I believe uh, and so I've been watching her I've also been watching Sparrow Hawker designs uh, I'm going to take this post-it note off. Uh, and uh, also, I've been watching All Sewn Up on 2-12-21. And she does the Slow Stitch Journal. And then i also been watching Herma de Ruda. She does the Going Around in Circles. So I'm going to share the blocks that I've made uh, for those things. Okay, so my block for... February was this one uh, and this is a nine by nine 
and really love i learned the chain stitch here i added those uh hexagon things that i learned in the tag so as i learned i do the tag i add it to my blocks as i go so here's another hexagon i added beads to this one um yeah here's the um the fly stitch again um yeah so I, I, each each week i'm adding more and more is lots of uh knots there's the knots here the french knots going up the side uh yeah so that's that block for february i did start my march uh but let me show you the circle uh going around in circles is by herma de ruda and i made this one and um yeah so i have some thread on there uh so this is my first block this is a six by six so yeah six by six block and i started writing in here here's my blocks done so january is my purple block february is my pink and teal block and then my march is a green i'm going to show you that in a minute uh and then i did it through the whole month of december because i plan to do one a, one a month so we'll see um and then my six by six blocks here is my red one this is number one this is going around in circles so that's my first block. My second block was uh, stitching on coloring books. So here is my second block. And this is a coloring book that I had in my stash. I, I used to collect coloring books. So I just pulled out a page and started stitching on here. And this is a six by six block. So uh, capture every moment is what it came out to be. Um, I looked up a whole bunch of uh, different quotes that I could put on here. I have a paper clip on here mainly because I have the date on here because I didn't put the backing on this. My backs are really a mess. Uh, once I put decide what I'm gonna do with these blocks, I will put a backing on it and then date it. So um, I just had the paper clip with a little piece of paper saying what day I finished the block. So that's that. Then my third block is a winter star. And here is my third block. This is a six by six block. Uh, and this is how I learned the winter star, which is the middle. Uh, and this one, I actually punched a hole in the center and I used a brad. And I have a hole punch that punches through leather and it punched through my fabric. So I'm really excited that I was able to add the snowflakes. I actually have three snowflakes. There's one here, one here, one here. I added my beads again put, to put winter on there. I learned a new stitch here. I don't know the name of it, but I bought two books. Since then, I went to Barnes & Noble and I picked up two books. I bought this one which is embroidery, a step-by-step -step guide to more than 2,200 stitches. Uh, this is by L Lucinda Ganderden, and it really helps me to uh, visualize and um, do different stitches that I haven't learned yet. So uh, this is a great reference. I love this book so far. I've been using it a lot. I also picked up this book, Needlework, a complete photo guide of needlework and this has 650 different pictures in it this has the same thing but this one adds beads and stuff because i really wanted to add some beads i'll show you some uh pictures of this i went to barnes and noble so i was able to sit there and like look through each book and say oh which one will i use see how it adds beads love that how you could add stitching and then add beads to it. So uh, this is a great reference book that I picked up. So, and also ribbons. Here's ribbon and ribbon and beads. That's really pretty. So um, yeah, this is ribbon going across. And I just loved how there was more stuff that I could learn how to use and do. Uh, so that's the two books I picked up from Barnes and Noble um that's that and then here's my march block uh it is in work in progress i did do the circle the stitching what is it called again uh going around in stitches there's actually a facebook group uh that does this every single day um i like to do something different every day because i get bored uh so uh as you can see my different 
different projects or different my six by six or different projects but today i think i'm going to go i'm going to do this around the stitching because i'm really tired of doing so much every day uh so i want to add more stuff to here so this is a work in progress i learned here coach couching i think it's called uh where you put ribbon and you sew uh, above it so the ribbon could actually come out but I'm not going to pull it out because it's hard to get back in uh, so this is my work in progress uh, block for the month of March okay so that's that uh, now here's my book covers page now this is what I am working on right now so let me grab that okay so I decided that I wanted to make a cover and here is my cover uh, and I've been working on this all day yesterday. Um, I just love the colors. This is my favorite colors, the purple and the teal. Uh, so, um, I decided that I wanted to cover this book, this journal that I was just showing you. Uh, so I made it so it would cover this, but I didn't make it tall enough. So I need to add... A binding or a rim around it and what I want to do is I'm going to sew a pocket so it goes around and this would stick into the book so uh, yeah so this is how I wanted to do it like this so it's inside the book and it's more like a cover so that's how I plan to finish it but it will look like this when it's done and it will have my little journal in the middle of it. Um, I don't want to stitch this into the book because I want it to be able to come out. So when this is finished, I can reuse the cover. So um, yeah, so this is a work in progress. Sorry about my stitches, <laughs> they're a mess. Uh, but that's what I'm working on now. I want to put this into the this book into here. So that's my uh, major project that I'm working on. And that's it that I wrote in this journal. Oh, I put Facebook groups. Um, here's the Facebook groups that I joined and I've been posting at. Uh, so a whole bunch of uh, places that I've learned a lot of stuff from. I uh, love seeing everybody's work. And if you have a question, you just post something and they'll, they'll answer it for you. Uh, so that's that. So... Um, today's project, I'm going to do this and I am going to do stitching around in circles like my heart one. So I have to find a button that goes in the middle here and then I'm just going to stitch around. Now, um, I wasn't using the right stuff, the thread or needles for this. It was very hard. I already stubbed my finger, uh, twice. I had a bandaid on it, but it's off now. Uh, but... Um, yeah, I learned that we need different type of needles. So I did pick up new needles from Amazon. I now have these Clover Gold Eye Chanel 24. Uh, but I find it's very hard to thread because my eyes, I wear glasses and it's very hard to thread. So I wound up buying this little gadget. Uh, and I am using this to thread my needle. Uh, you put the needle in here, you put the thread on the side, and then you click this button. But be very careful because I already there's a needle that pops out over here, uh, and I already stubbed my finger. Uh, so you got to be careful when you use this thing. Uh, but so far, I'm really liking this, and uh, I will put the link to this uh, below. Um, I got this on Amazon. So that's what I'm working on. I did buy new threads, so I got this in the mail uh, from Amazon, and I'm going to try this out. This is what everybody's been using. Uh, I was originally using my um, these embroidery things, so I got this from Amazon. So this is what I was originally using. Uh, this thread thing does not thread the whole whole thing you have to um take some of it off so i do a hat three strands instead of six strands it will do this three strands on here uh and yeah so that's how that's been working out now um i just tried doing this and i did get my needle threaded so here is my i'm going to use this for my where is the pink block i misplaced it 
All right, so it's somewhere on my desk. Oh, it's under here. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, here's my pink block. And um, yeah, so this is the thread I'm going to use to do the circles around. I still have to find the button, but this is my progress. So I've been learning a lot and uh, I can't stop stitching. So at least I'm using my stuff from my stash. This was actually uh, in one of my boxes for my quilting UFOs. And I pulled it out and I said, today I feel like pink. So I am doing a pink block. So uh, that's that. So I want to share this little object that I got. This is an iron. This is a mini iron I got from Amazon. This is so cute. And I got an ironing mat uh, because I have an ironing board and I was putting it in the middle of my room and then I couldn't open my door. So I was running out of room. So I got an ironing mat. I got a mini iron. I love it now. It's so tiny. And now I can iron my, um, my little blocks. So, um, I will put both of these, uh, down below, uh, the links if you need to buy. This is on, I'm just have this on my counter. Uh, so here is where I'm sitting. It's a mess, but <laughs> it's on the side of my computer. Here's my computer where I watch TV. Uh, and uh, there I put it on the counter there. This way I could iron and I don't have to have the ironing board in the middle of the room. Because as you, it's a mess. I'm going to show you my room. It's a mess. Okay. So uh, here is my desk. It's huge and it's a mess. I have stuff all over the place. So sorry about that. But uh, yeah, my rolling carts here. I have my cards over here. Uh, yeah, this is my room. So this is what you see. And I don't have much room. Like in here, I have a step ladder to get to the stuff on the top. Uh, but there's not much. I have like a little room to walk across. So this is where I had my ironing board. There's my old iron. And I had my ironing board. And then it was blocking the door. I couldn't get out of my room. And I said to my husband, I'm going to buy a little i'm gonna go around so my room is a mess sorry uh, uh so here is where my ironing is gonna be now so much easier than putting everything away and like closing up it's not taking up too much room it's on my desk there love it now so here is my second block uh finished for the circle round and circles i used uh number eight Wonderful pearl cotton 908 color i thought it looked nice uh for the pink uh and i used the chanel uh needle here's the chanel needles uh number 24 for, to make this um i used the shank uh button for the center so i did cut a slit in the center and i sewed that on so here's my back i have a lot of knots on there but um yeah so that is finished really like the pink so this is my block for today this really only took me about half hour to sew this on i think it took me longer to thread the needle than to sew actually around in circles so uh really works well when you have the right product uh to go faster so that is my uh finished block anyway that's my progress and and i just wanted to share with you how i'm doing on this sewing and my sewing journey uh and thanks for watching and i will see you in another video